Listen up, TPS fans. We're doing a giveaway. We're giving away either Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Step one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Step two, this video needs 5,000 likes. Once we reach 5,000 likes, we give away a copy of Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Before we give away the game, you need to comment because we'll pick a random winner from the comments. The winners will be announced on the TPS Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram social media pages. So follow there as well. Good luck, TPSers. NFL fans of today are very familiar with the best players of the last 40 years or so. You know Lawrence Taylor is the best defensive player ever, Jerry Rice is the best receiver ever, and then there are like five quarterbacks you can probably call the GOAT. But there are some NFL legends who completely changed the game forever, yet aren't really talked about much amongst fans these days. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into 10 NFL legends that people don't know existed. And a big shout out to Isaac Lugo for suggesting this video. We do hope you enjoy this list, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Norm Van Brocklin The name's Van Brocklin, Norman Van Brocklin, and he'd like a Remember Me Martini shaken not stirred. Van Brocklin was one of the pioneers of NFL quarterbacks, transforming the position into a more pass-heavy style that we know and love today. The 1960 NFL MVP led the Rams to the 1951 NFL Championship and the Eagles to championship glory in 1960. Van Brocklin finished with 173 career touchdowns and 23,611 passing yards, which were fairly high numbers in the 50s and 60s. Number 9. Gino Marchetti Marchetti terrorized quarterbacks as a star pass rusher in the 50s and 60s. The 11-time Pro Bowler led the Baltimore Colts to NFL championships in 1958 and 1959, led to the 1950s All-Decade Team and the NFL 75th Anniversary All-Time Team. Marchetti finished with 13 fumble recoveries in his career. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1972. Number 8. Jim Parker Offensive linemen are perhaps the most overlooked folks in sports. Fittingly enough, Jim Parker was among the best offensive linemen of the 50s and 60s. The Baltimore Colts icon was named to eight Pro Bowls and was selected nine times as a first-time All-Pro. Parker also protected Colts legend Johnny Unitas as the two guided Baltimore to NFL championships in 1958 and 59. There, now we hope you'll go tell your friends about this NFL legend that people don't know existed. Number 7. John Mackey the tight end position was so overlooked back in the 60s and 70s. As such, folks overlooked tight end John Mackey for most of his career, and it stayed that way since his retirement. Mackey and Johnny Unitas formed quite the duo in Baltimore, as the former was named to five Pro Bowls. Mackey, perhaps football's first true superstar tight end, also led Baltimore to a Super Bowl V championship. Mackey finished with 331 receptions for 5,236 yards and 38 touchdowns in his Hall of Fame career. Number 6. Chuck Bednarik one of the most versatile athletes ever, Bednarik could scare opposing quarterbacks as a hard-hitting linebacker. He could also block well and protect his signal caller as a top-notch center. He played his entire career with the Philadelphia Eagles from 1949 to 62. He was named a 10-time first-team All-Pro and guided them to the NFL championships in 1949 and 1960. The fact he was able to star on both offense and defense is something else. Please tell folks about Bednarik because this sometimes forgotten NFL legend really changed the game. Number 5. Sid Luckman Speaking of quarterbacks who transformed the position, meet Sid Luckman. The Chicago Bears legend played in the NFL from 1939 to 1950. He was a three-time NFL All-Star, won the 1943 NFL MVP, and guided the Bears to the NFL championships in 1940, 41, 43, and 46. Luckman also led the NFL in passing yards and touchdowns three times. The Hall of Famer finished with 137 touchdowns and 14,686 passing yards. But as luck won't have it, Luckman is often forgotten when the best quarterbacks are ever discussed. Number 4. Bronco Nagurski We wish he played for the Denver Broncos, just so we could say Bronco was a Bronco. Nagurski played fullback for the Chicago Bears, a position that is by all means dead in the NFL today. Nagurski won three NFL championships with the Bears and was a four-time first-team All-Pro. He finished with 2,778 rushing yards and 25 touchdowns. Again, those were very high numbers back in the 30s and 40s. Number 3. Otto Graham You know how much people make fun of the Cleveland Browns for losing all the time? Well, they were actually one of America's most dominant sports teams in the 40s and 50s thanks to the work of legendary quarterback Otto Graham. This man led Cleveland to the NFL championships in 1950, 54, and 55. Graham was a three-time NFL MVP and led the NFL in passing yards twice. Graham was by far the best quarterback of his era, 
The stats he put up back in those days were off the charts impressive. Graham finished with 174 touchdowns and 23,584 passing yards. A true NFL icon and legend indeed. Number 2. Sammy Baugh Just how great was Sammy Baugh? The man was a quarterback, defensive player, and punter. Yes, he played all three positions. He led the Washington Redskins to NFL championships in 1937 and 1942. Ball led the NFL in interceptions in 1943. He also led the NFL in passing yards four times. Ball was a two-time NFL MVP and will undoubtedly live on as the most versatile player in NFL history. He was just an insanely skilled player in every aspect. We can only hope people will recognize his name and career, which can be hard considering he last played football in 1952. And number one, Don Hudson. How great was Don Hudson? Well, NFL.com ranked him as the ninth greatest player in league history. So yeah, he was pretty great. Hudson, a star wide receiver, put the Green Bay Packers on the football map. He led them to NFL championships in 1936, 39, and 44. Hudson also took home two league MVP awards, which is next to impossible for receivers to accomplish these days. He led the league in catches eight times and receiving yards seven times. Hudson finished with 488 receptions for 7,991 yards and 99 touchdowns. Those were beyond amazing numbers in the 30s and 40s, too. Hudson is the best NFL player that people forgot existed. We hope he did our part in ensuring people begin to throw around his name again. What other NFL legends do people forget existed? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.